Hi everyone. Happy New Year. This is my first live for 2021. Oh my God, right? Mm -hmm. My first live. How are you guys doing? How is your New Year so far? It's only been what, two days in? Yep, yep, two days in. <laughs> I am crazy busy in a good way. I'm excited about that. Um, this is my very first time experiencing a new year being busy <laughs> at the beginning of the year. So I'm excited about that, y'all. Um, I know uh, God has so much in store for me. Um, I'm just hopping on right quick just to tell you guys, Happy New Year. Um, I, I think I shouted out a little Happy New Year. <laughs> Child, I don't know if I'm coming or going. So I don't I can't remember exactly what I did, but I put on Facebook, but I think I did, probably with one of my posts of uh, my work or whatever. But um I just want to personally tell you guys happy, happy new year. Uh this is a brand new year, new things to come. Uh we're gonna forget about the old and just continue to keep pushing and pressing for the forward. Just like they've been saying, apply pressure. Y'all apply pressure for 2020. We're gonna apply pressure for 2021. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's what we got to do. All right, y'all. So um, I'm waiting on my client to come. So I just wanted to kind of hop on and just tell you guys, like I said, Happy New Year. And uh, hi, I see everybody. How are you? Happy. Uh, I'm, I'm saying happy. Hey, Dallas Bree. And um, I see other people coming on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say hello. Come and say hello while um, I'm waiting. Uh, you know, for my client, I'm setting up, I'm doing uh, brows today. So um, I've been getting a lot of brow clients and I am so grateful and thankful uh, to God for my new clients. My new clients been hustling. They've been pulling it for me. <laughs> They're like, girl, we're going to tell everybody, you know. So I am so grateful. Y'all just don't know. Y'all just don't know. But I'm grateful. <laughs> and I'm thankful. I'm humbled uh, that... Uh, I'm just humble. That, that's all I can say. I don't, I don't want to start bursting out into tears because I'm trying to keep it together. <laughs> but I am. I am. And um, I got some great things for this year. Some really, really good things that's coming up this year. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited as to what God is getting in, uh, ready to do, what he has in store for me. Um, Happy New Year, Cherie. And I see who else, Martha, Happy New Year. Let me scroll up and see who else, because I saw some other people coming in. Happy New Year, Papa. <laughs> That's Paul. Happy New Year, Rhonda. <laughs> I love your picture, Rhonda. Amazing, cute. I like it, girl. Your little flyer, it's cute. Um, but yes, y'all. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm in between clients and everything, and... Um, yeah, today is going to be a very uh, eventful day. <laughs> like I said, I'm doing what I love. And um, then I'm going to go home and lay it down, y'all, because I am tired. Okay, I know y'all probably can see it in my eyes. I'm tired. I've been moving since Friday. No, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, y'all. And nonstop. So, um, girl, slay. Yeah, <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> girl, that was everything. Happy New Year, Lala. Yay, Lala. Thank you. Happy New Year to you guys. And um, we're going to keep it positive, y'all. We're going to keep it positive for this new year. Um, we know things are going to be the way that they're going to be. And we're going to just continue to keep pressing on. Y'all continue to keep washing your hands. Y'all continue to keep putting your mask on. Um, continue to be safe. Don't let your guard down for nothing at all. I don't care with uh, the vaccine or not. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we have to continue to stay focused, continue to stay um, uh, just aware, okay? Because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to, you know, quote scripture and things of that nature, but uh, revelation is uh, fulfilling itself. I'm going to put it to you like that. <laughs> so just be open minded, be prepared, that that's really what 2020, uh, 2021 is for preparedness. It's now time to get prepared. 2021 has taught us a huge lesson. I mean, 2020 has taught us a huge lesson 
uh, opened up our eyes, of course, as to uh, what, how everything transpires and everything's going on. And now 2021 is like, okay, it's now time for you to prepare. We started preparing already in 2020. Well, I know I have prepared for what my future is going to be. And um, I'm continuing to keep preparation for 2021. And I'm not letting my guard down. I'm, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep thriving and uh, staying focused. Uh, on business, uh, health, family, you know, things of that nature. So, yes, I'm just, I'm, I'm reading, trying to read everything, y'all. You're welcome, Lala. Yes. So, but um, that's it. I mean, how you guys are spending you guys' uh, new year? Um, like I said, I know I'm, I got a whole bunch of stuff going on and then probably for... Um, I'll be back on live. I'm trying to think. I don't know a date yet, but I have some things um, in store that I'm going to do. And um, yeah, so I want y'all to join me. I may do an announcement about it, but I know me. I'll say something and then before you know it, something else will come up. And then I'm like, uh, you know, what? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Or whatever, so I may just pop on and surprise you. Y'all just be prepared, just be ready for what I have. Um, and it'll, it'll be something fun. Um, of course, it'll be something maybe about dealing with makeup. Y'all know how I do, and um, yeah, so it, it'll be fun, but um, yeah, y'all. So I just like I said, I just wanted to hop on right quick and say happy new year personally to you guys and say hey, 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 and uh. For my first live for 2021. So when it when when uh, Facebook brings it back around, I can see how I look and I'll be like, ooh, I was busted <laughs> for the beginning of 2021. Hair not curled, nothing. Just let it air dried and just kept it pushing, you know? But um Yeah, y'all. So I just wanted to come on bare face, no makeup, nothing. Just me. You gotta love you first. <laughs> and I love me. Um, but yeah, so, um, like I said, how are you guys doing? What are you guys are up to today? What today? Today is Saturday. Well, I thought yesterday was Saturday, y'all. Did anybody else think that yesterday was the weekend? I mean, was Saturday? Oh my God. I, I'm, I was working, I was doing some other things and I was like, what today is? I had to like, think about it. I couldn't even get my days straight, y'all. I mean, it's just been... It, it don't feel like, for one, it didn't feel like New Year's Day I mean, or New Year's Eve. When I started working New Year's Eve, it didn't. And that was what, Thursday, right? Didn't even feel like it. And I was like, it don't feel like a New Year's. It's just don't. It was the, the whole atmosphere, everything was just different for me. And it, it was for me, I, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know about anybody else, but it just was weird. It, it just wasn't New Year's, like, you know? And um, I was just like, just didn't feel it, you know? Um, when the ball dropped and all that stuff like that, I think I was, I done dozed off a couple of times and I done woke back up, but, uh, uh, my husband was up and, uh, I looked at him, he was on the internet, you know, watching movies or whatever, whatever. So I told him if I doze off, wake me up so we can pray. <laughs> I was like, wake me up so we can pray and say happy new year to each other, whatever. So, Oh, when, what happened? I did. Didn't I tell you I dozed off? So my son comes running the room and he's like, happy new year. I was like, scared me out of this world. And I looked at my husband. I was like, well, thank you for waking me up. And my son came in and he woke me up. So I was just like, and I guess he didn't even realize I was asleep. My husband didn't even realize I was asleep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we said our prayers. My son came in. And uh, he jumping all on the bed, clowning with us, you know, and excited about the New Year's and, you know, New Year and everything. So, yeah. But uh, we said our prayers and uh, we, you know, prayed for a successful uh, New Year and uh, new things to come. And I mean, just just a lot of different things, y'all. So, you know, we came together and uh, we did that. So I'm excited because this is my first time. And uh, a couple years that my husband was home because he does, he works a lot. And so that he was home to spend New Year's because usually we were on the phone 
telling each other happy new year because he's working you know well this new year it was that's why I was, that's why I was like this is a different new year I was excited he was home you know and I was like oh my god we get to spend our first new year together you know new year's eve rather uh, together bringing in the new year you know and uh, I was really excited about that even though I fell asleep I was tired, y'all. I had a, a long day. I had makeup. I had a wedding that day. I think I know y'all saw the pictures. I had a wedding that day. I had clients that day. So I was like, I was done. <laughs> and I tried to stay up. I did. I did. I tried. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I just couldn't go no more. And um, and probably my husband just probably let me sleep because he know I, I had a rough one, you know, so. But uh Needless to say, we said our little um, happy new year and everything and said our prayers and stuff. And we kept it pushing, y'all. We kept it pushing. So let's see. I'm, I'm about to go back and read. Hey, Key. Happy new year to you, too. Hey, Tanisha. Rhonda, you thought, too? You thought yesterday was Saturday? Girl, I was like, really? <laughs> Yes, everybody. And you thought it was Saturday, Key. And then, um, yeah, you were yeah, I said it was on Friday. I know, girl. It was crazy. It really was. So I was just like, really? <laughs> but yes, y'all. Um, so I had to think about what today is. <laughs> Saturday. It don't feel like a Saturday. It feel like a Sunday. I mean, I looked at the road. And I'm like, is this Saturday when I'm driving to get, you know, to my studio? I'm like, is it, is it, uh, what, what day it is? Because I mean, usually, you know, on a Saturday it's busy. People going to the mall or, you know, whatever, doing their, you know, doing their thing. No one's was on the road. Holly, no one was on the road. It's crazy. Hey, Candace, how are you, honey? Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, it was good talking and talking to y'all or whatever. So I want to begin to do more lives. I do. Um, I want to, um, yeah, I just want to do more lives with you guys and get more um, intimate, personal yeah. <laughs> with you guys so y'all can see the me, which I don't never cover up me. Me, I'm going to be me. If anybody know me, y'all know I'm me. I don't sugarcoat. I don't hold nothing back. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> never have been, never have been. Now, you can ask my friends who been knowing me, my friends, friends, my true friends, and my family who been knowing me for a long time. They know I don't sugarcoat nothing. Um, <clears throat> don't ask me if you don't want the truth, because <laughs> I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. For you. I'm not gonna be mean, you know what I mean. But uh, I'm gonna keep it real because I care. I care. You know, I wouldn't want nobody to do that to me. I wouldn't want nobody to, you know, BS me. You know what I mean? So I'm just that, that type of person to whereas, you know, I'm going to give you the real, especially if you come to me, you know, and then if I care about you too, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you the real, you know, I'm going to keep it real with you. So um, I want people to know me in that aspect. I mean, even my clients, when my clients meet me, um, I don't tell them to go and um, go on my uh, Google uh, page and write review. I, I ask them if they would write reviews, but I don't tell them what to write. So what you see is directly from them, their experience about uh, Layla Monet, uh, being uh, in Layla Monet's uh, care as far as um, makeup wise, you know, letting me do their face, touching their face, you know what I mean? Things of that nature, you know what I mean? Um, doing their eyebrows, you know, uh, the micro shading, you know, that is a actual procedure, you know, and you're dealing with blood and things of that nature. So things have to be sanitized. Things have the same thing with, uh, makeup, you know, you're dealing with somebody's face, stuff have to be sanitized, stuff have to be clean, you know, things of that nature. So when you see that on those reviews, that is coming from them, their heart, how they felt about it. And I want people to give me their honest opinion. I never swindle anybody to ask them, okay, you know, say this, say that or whatever, whatever. No, be real. Keep it real because I'm going to keep it real. You know, if I've been to your establishment, if I've been to your place of business or however, I'm going to keep it real. If you ask me to write a review, I'm going to give you my honest opinion about it. So, and I want my uh, clients and people, you know, my, my clients, everyone, you know, everyone to do the same. So I think that's more than fair. Um, so, you know, because you want good service, right? And I like good service. So why not offer good service? So, and I'm me. I be me. I just, I am who I am. <laughs> I miss your lives and fierce looks. 
Thank you, Candace. I know, girl. I'm going to come back. I am. I just got away from it. Hey, Shabbat. Girl, I don't know what's been going on. I, I text you twice, Shafan, okay? So, um, I'm at this final. I don't know if you're getting my text or what. But, um, yeah, I had wanted to share some things with you. But we're going to talk. We're going to talk, sis. We're going to talk. I'm, I'm at the call. I'm at the literally call you and not text you, okay? <laughs> and thank you, Shafan. That's my girl, y'all. That is my coach. She is my business coach, you guys. Y'all check out Shafan if y'all want to know anything about success, anything uh, dealing with business. She knows it all. She has over uh, probably 20 plus, plus years experience in the business industry. Uh, she's worked with the big dogs and uh, she has her own business. She does, um, um, I think, uh, wealth uh, mentoring and things of that nature. So you guys, please go and check her out. It is uh, Shafan Foster. Uh, you can go to Dr. Shafan Foster. Uh, I believe dot com. Siobhan, put your website uh, information in there, girl, so the people can go and check you out. She has been a true blessing to me and still has been a, a blessing to me. And I just want to spread it all. <laughs> Success to everybody. She wants to see everybody win. She's winning. She wants a circle to win. We're all gonna, we're all winners. <laughs> she said no. She didn't get. See, I'm going to have to find out what's going on, girl. See, that's our stuff here. DrShafanFoster.com, you guys. Y'all check her out. That is my sis. I love her to death and I miss her so much. Shafan, we got to get together, girl. <laughs> I'm just be trying to lay low because it is uh, COVID. And I'm trying to stay healthy because I, I believe in my coin. Okay? <laughs> and I love what I do, y'all. And, and it's not just about the money with me. Anybody who knows me for real know that. Because I tell them anytime. I mean, if I, if I could live for free... And do this for free, I would, trust me. But this is my livelihood. This is what I do full time. And of course, I, you know, I need my funds. I need my coins. You know, I have a family <laughs> to take care of too, you know. So, but, um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I love what I do. So, nothing below. Oh, Shafai, thank you, honey. Mm, miss you, miss you, miss you, girl. But uh, yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off because my client will be coming in uh, pretty soon. And um, I'm going to come back on. I'm going to come back on. I don't know today, girl. Y'all, I'm going to say girl. See, that's when you know you be talking. <laughs> I might come back on uh, soon. I'm going to put it to you like that soon. And uh, I hopefully the next time you see me, uh, it may be with some great news, some more good stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to make no promises, but we're going to see uh, what's going to go down. So... I love you guys and thank you guys for tuning in. I know um, this was just an impromptu, just something pop up and say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> but uh, I love you guys and I will talk to you soon.